there's nothing technically improper or rule-breaking or illegal about a former president facing charges. Even if it hasn't happened before, it doesn't break any rules. Uh, but why has it never happened before? Why has no one else before now considered a criminal indictment against a former president? Is it because it's so dangerous, it's so unwise, it's so somehow against our system to prosecute a former president? Or is it just because there's never been one before who has lived this way? I mean, yes, from a historical perspective, an indictment against a former president is unprecedented. But given that we're talking about this particular former president, Donald J. Trump, can you honestly say to yourself that an indictment is a surprise? The first thing anyone ever knew about his business practices was, was when he and his father had to settle with the Justice Department decades ago over accusations that they illegally refused to rent apartments to black people. Then by the time he was entering politics, he was paying another gigantic settlement, a $25 million settlement over fraud claims involving his fake university that he put his name on. Then his family charity was shut down and fined millions of dollars as a fraud. Then his national security advisor pled guilty to lying to the FBI twice. Then his campaign chairman went to federal prison on fraud charges. Then his deputy campaign chairman went to federal prison as well. Then his personal lawyer went to federal prison on fraud and campaign finance charges. Then his other personal lawyer had his law license suspended on his way to potential disbarment. And his longest serving political advisor was convicted on multiple felony counts and sentenced to federal prison for, among other things, witness intimidation. And his White House senior advisor was arrested on the yacht of a Chinese billionaire picked up on fraud charges. And it turns out that preceded the Chinese billionaire himself being arrested on fraud charges. And as president, he himself was impeached twice, which is a record, with more impeachment votes against him from members of his own party than any other president in history. And even since then, his company, which is literally called the Trump Organization, was convicted on multiple felony fraud charges. And his longtime CFO is in Rikers as we speak. And when it comes to playing the odds and wondering what the stakes are for our country if an indictment in fact comes down for this former president, we literally have to disambiguate the question so as to clarify which of the three known jurisdictions in which he's under criminal investigation are likely to go first. So really, is this a surprise? It's not like this is a normal former president. Not just because he's provocative or extreme or speaks in a way that other You elect a guy with this kind of a life record. Why would you expect all the criminal justice system activity that has surrounded him his entire life to suddenly evaporate when he entered this new phase of his post-public office life? No, America has never before seen the indictment of a former president. But we did elect Donald Trump to be president. And his life, business, and political milieu are a place in which handcuffs are like seasonal decorations. <laughs> Happy equinox.